Ouais. Ah, oh, uh, yeah, mate. It's been a hard... It's, it's been... been tough, yeah, it's been a hard day's night. Hard day's Clive. Yeah. No, it's been a hard day's night. Yeah, I know. It's uh, just changing the thing. I was just in my... Um, I was just diving in my yellow submarine. Mm. Are you quite insane? No. I... Uh, I uh, oh fuck I just lay a bee man let uh, it be yeah um yeah uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't you know as many bee no. as you thought you did did you um good girls they don't cry that's, <laughs> that's not Beatles man yeah no that's oh. Jersey Boys right. just, well originally it's not Jersey well it's Jersey Boys isn't it <laughs> Good girls, they don't cry. They don't cry. Enjoy this week's episode. Yeah, there's going to be ups, downs, sides, and lefts, and rights, and do's, and don'ts. Previously on the Danger Club podcast. Mate, I'm a lemur. When you said Fantastic uh, Four, I immediately thought Enid Blyton. We don't moment. talk about ED. No, no. <laughs> it moves very quickly for such a chubby lemur. It's got an eye patch. Hey. Oh, wait, it's my boyfriend. <laughs> now I met. Crit fails his swim check and begins drowning in five feet of water. <laughs> don't listen to Dan's pull. Stay where you um, are, drum. Fine, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll move forward and I'll use it. The Spartans have 300 Spartans and we've just got one fault. <laughs> And a lemur. The adventure continues now. I'm on 50, 50, 50. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. We just started prison recording, man. You oh, my God. You can't do that. Do you know what? Well, actually, no, I've talked about chat back before. 50, I'm sure. 50, 50, 50. 50, 50. Yeah, the late night chat yeah, function the years and years ago. Yeah. 100, double low. 1066. Yeah. Wait, well, was 1066 no, a chat line number? No. <laughs> no. It's Hastings to read. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do not. Well, we shouldn't advertise people are still going. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I need, I need oh, actually, oh, I, I keep meaning to call chat back. It doesn't even, 0891 is not a valid code anymore, so. I'm pretty sure that chat back make me friends on the telephone is not an existing service anymore <laughs> but you know you never know never know not like nice fellows we should launch our own we should launch our own premium line do you remember that when you could uh, like premium phone lines for like uh, for like TV show like game hints and things like that yeah and it's like press one if you want to know how to defeat the wizard and you're like oh, okay this is customer dad like six quid a minute I was like okay I'll, I'll press one you have pressed do you want to attack the wizard how would you like to know? and it's just like just yeah. give me the thing and it's just reading everything out it's so oh, so slow yeah, used to get sure. it's just like I found out the um, here you go here's an, here's an old little an old wrestling reference for, for you Ross the old, uh, the old wrestling hotline where you could phone up and like exclusive interviews with the uh, with the, the wrestlers or like I've heard that a new wrestler is joining next week find out who it is and phone on the phone line all of those were run by Mean Gene Oakland like the interviewer so when he's hawking them it's actually like his separate business that he's flogging oh, really? on it <laughs> and he's getting the cash for it he made thousands from it it's an amazing little thing uh, more than we would ever make i'm sure from a hotline on the danger club but who knows dial the free phone number tonight and get hot james's in your area <laughs> hello everyone and welcome to the danger club podcast hey. How many hot Jameses are there? i mean My it's God. a common name it's hot james <laughs> um speaking of hot james's i remember the ones when we were uh, i was a youth i was about 12 or 13 or something like that are you and saying then, are you saying youth for you is a hot james youth for you? well no Ute. no well i was i was a cute kid and then then puberty hit and oh i was not a pretty teenager um, but anyway, uh, yeah, me and uh, me and Nick, we thought we'd call one of those sex lines from a payphone, and we had pound coins, and I think we had about three pound coins between us. We got about twenty seconds into the call. <laughs> it was some of the most disappointing. We're like, oh yeah, here we go. We're gonna get some business. Kachik, kachik, kachik. No, that was it. Done. So, oh, <laughs> I see why this is a business now. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. yes. There used to be, and this is the mad. This is one of the maddest things um, that uh, Britain has. There, there used to be. And I think still is a phone number that you can phone where they tell you the time. Uh, the speed oh, the time spot. Oh, time spot. Yeah. 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 Ten twenty. You can find out oh, right now. Ten twenty. That's really weird. Sure. Oh, really? Maybe because we were like ten sixty six. Oh, maybe. possibly. Yeah. Ten sixty six. Well, oh, shall we? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when we, we uh, when, when we sorry, Scott. Is that when you guys are born? Ten sixty six. 
banter, banter, banter. And give in all your hero points. <laughs> <laughs> back when yes. we worked, speaking of uh, 1066, back when we worked in the unnamed historical tourist attraction, um, you'd be stuck on set for ages and not see daylight, so you wouldn't really know when your brakes were. But there were phones in every room uh, that they'd forgotten to disconnect the outside line on. Uh, and so uh, my mate Teeling and uh, my mate Robin just kept, uh, they kept phoning the speaking clock to find out what the time was. And then it just became a joke, like Robin just would phone the speaking clock and just leave it hang it and leave, just leave the phone off and come back and hang it and then we got called into a meeting and they were like we've just got a massive phone bill with huge amount like massive co- hundreds and hundreds of calls to the speaking clock that have all been charged to the company so now we're disconnecting all of the phones and, and Teeling was like I didn't know it cost money to call the speaking clock and, and Robin just looked at us like the fucking devil was like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Bleeding the company dry. Nice one, Robin. Uh, nice one. Oh, does it, does it, does names it have been run? changed to protect the innocent. Yeah, <laughs> or the, the guilty. Let's the guilty. Honest. Yeah, yeah. Does it still run the speaking clock? I'm sure it does. Yeah. Let's ring it right now. One, two, three. Is that what oh. you call? Uh, Put it on. If the, I remember uh, correctly. I can't remember now. All right. It's ridiculous. Let, who's yeah, gonna, who's gonna take the hit? Let's who's phone it from hit? our phone with a clock on it to find <laughs> out what the time yeah. is. <laughs> the time, but it's sponsored by Accurist. Yeah. Come well, on. Well, you you don't do, say that any time. It picks up. It picks um, up and it goes, Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, Thank shit. you so much. the time is oh, fuck what's that? The yeah. time is Does anyone have a clock? Can you call one, two, three? Go on, go on, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. This is this is the Pramble Quality. that you come for. This think. is peak Pramble. To love it, <laughs> peak. Oh man, that's going to cost me bear money. Oh, oh bear yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. Pressure, yeah. Beer, pressure, pressure. I've got, I've got, I've got bear it. money. Hey, oh, bear money. I mean, not a lot. It's just because I'm a bear. <laughs> <laughs> so all my money is bear. Right, it's just chippings um, of bark and, okay. and honey. This is going to be so like. Here we go. Right, One, here we going to put up two, three. Hold it right to the mic. And then I'm going to do that. And the, yeah, okay, so I'm ringing, I'll put it on speaker. It's oh, ringing. The sex line. At the third stroke, the time brought to you by O2 will be 6.02 p.m. and 30 seconds. Wow, she sounded quite... Wow. Uh, what, she, wait, what's the third stroke? Now. Oh! Hey. Brought to you by O2 will be... Brought to you by O2 these days. O2. O2! She sounds quite, um, yeah, O2. She, she sounds like, quite mischievous when she yeah. says the time. 6 o, two, do, do. <laughs> I <laughs> love so it. She just the said. old time at the third stroke will be time to get on with the fucking podcast. <laughs> what, yeah. what do you think happened to... Uh, what do you get think happened to Accurus? Do you reckon they got cancelled? Probably, they're, yeah, yeah. they're actually involved in arms sales. And the old man probably died, didn't he? Like, he'd, he'd well, been doing that There was a thing about changing it. I remember, like, it's about 10 years ago or something, there was a whole thing where they were like, oh, the... The you know the person that tells you the time will be changed to a woman. You know, it's like that was a thing, man. Yeah, yeah there was did, a, did loads of people go online going, "A woman? We can't have a woman <laughs> doing the speaking." <laughs> Probably, uh, yeah. yeah all done. Thing is, thing is, it was back in the days before immersive work, so actors had to take whatever gigs they could. <laughs> just sat in a cupboard, just reading the time all day. Uh, just that was yeah, that's what he did. You would take <laughs> yeah. that joke. That Do you know what? You? Actually, and that reminds me of a very I'd sweet story. Yeah. So uh, in the um, on the Tube Network here in London, there is um, a very famous uh, Mind the Gap. Announcement because there's a gap between the oh, train I know and the thing. Story. And they, yeah, 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 it was really sweet. But they, uh, they, they changed all of the announcements mm. across the, the line except for one station because the the wife, the guy died, and she used to come and sit and listen to him say, yeah. "Mind the gap." So they kept it at one station, which was really sweet. I think oh, so she can go down and see it here. Yeah, she go down and really hear his actually, voice yeah. still. It was like, what a lovely really thing nice to do. Wow. Yeah. I mean, they're probably making pretty good money from her tapping in and out every day. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah, yeah, there's yeah. that one at, like, is it Bell Size Park or whatever? Um, where, like, it's just all of a sudden, mind the gap. <laughs> like, it's, it's like a skeletal just comes out of the train. All the other ones are dead chill, but that one's really ominous. Except skeletal would be like, step in the gap. <laughs> <laughs> He it used to be an old one. I changed it now, but it used to be a woman that used to say Southwark when the when the Jubilee line was kind of still brand new, and she used to be like Southwark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta get your kicks while you're in the audio booth. You know, awesome. you gotta have a yeah, bit of yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. of them are quite fun. I've always been fun of Wilson Green. Wilson Green. Yes. Yeah, so nice. <laughs> it's like okay. I remember she had some fun with that, didn't she? The monorail at Disney at Disney World in in Florida does the announce like the mind the doors announcement in loads of different languages but by the time it gets to do it in Chinese the doors are already shut and I was just like wow that's the politics of the United States just laid out there <laughs> yeah. 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 oh right this, this, 
This battle is uh, this battle has taken a turn. I think this battle normally fights in this literally turn on a dime. Don't they? They they go catastrophically badly and then suddenly twist and you guys win it. That that seems to be the way big fights go. This one, it seems to have just slowly kind of turned in your favour through strategic decisions. You've pulled everyone back. Um, are you saying? Are you saying that? We're playing well. Dan. I'm saying you're playing very well. <laughs> um, we stuck to the plan for once. Yeah, yeah. we did. That's never happened. Apart from kind of Shania. S- yeah, so that was an accident. I didn't realise I was breaking the plan. That's okay. It's because I told you before you did it, and then you did it. So well, I didn't, you didn't. You didn't tell me you were. Which is not telling me that's just. You're right. I guess you know. I mean, like I said before, this is like I was a lemur at the time. So. <laughs> And, and in Have defense, an you know, a couple of uh, a couple of episodes ago, Shania was lying on her back, um, being be- being eaten by the dinosaur while trying to grab Days its ball. Yeah, balls. I mean, so, you know, baby steps. You know, so yeah, I think on balance, this has been a very successful <laughs> yeah. combat for Shania yeah. Rain in terms of not going mental and driving, running straight into the <laughs> enemy. <laughs> it's been pretty strong. Um, they are now bearing down on you, however. Um, mm. You've done quite a bit of damage, but. Um, there is a there's a couple there's one little thing we need to solve though before we get in this what's that so la- at the very end of last week's episode um, we had a glorious ending where Velda blasted a, uh, a sudden bolt into Irene Large Feet yeah uh, thank you Chris um, the Avothian the demon dinosaur that was bearing down on you did a whole lot of damage it's 62 points of damage with a critical hit uh, but one thing we forgot is that right now Velda is affected um, by stupefied. Father oh. is stupefied one. Oh. Yes. Which means in order to cast a spell, Velda must make a, uh, a flat check. DC five plus his stupefied condition. So DC six flat check. Really easy. Otherwise he will otherwise the spell fails. Super easy don't So up. you just need no. to roll a six or higher on a D twenty. No don't pressure. don't no jinx pressure. it. Come on. Use Colin's dice tray. That's how they. I can't. Oh, 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 that's a thirteen. It's a thirteen. The uh, the hit point damage stays. You managed to focus your mind <laughs> enough. Uh, uh, question about stupefied. Yep. So, uh, do does it go turn by turn, or do you shake it off, or what's uh, it lasts it for one minute? A one minute. That's one basically minute. Fight, then. It is for an entire Easy, fight. Though. That's why he was. That's Seven. why he went for the wizard first of all with <laughs> that ability. Little bastard. Yeah. Little oh, bastard. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. So you've done a lot of damage. That's good. Uh, the cultists are now bearing down on you, and Nyamet is still quite a way behind because he spent a whole bloody turn getting through the uh, the stupid uh, wall of water. <laughs> Uh, and we've come back around. We effectively had one turn in that uh, in Jeez. the last combat. I think this might be our longest combat, but we'll see. There's a lot of moving parts in it. However, let's see if we can make some of those parts move considerably less with Caragor One Fangs go. Wait, 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 wait. Um, so I've got two leftover incendiary arrows from Pathfinder One. I've run out of normal arrows. I'm going to use those with my little lemur hands and my little lemur bow. One action to hunt prey on uh, one of the cultists, I think. It would be nice if I could focus on one that's already damaged. Yep. And I'm gonna let fly. Okay. You target. Sorry, I thought it went Velda and then. Uh, nope. Last. Yeah. No, because I I literally dropped that sudden bolt and that was the last thing that happened. Yep. It goes. Uh, next up, we've got Karagor, then all of them, then Nyamet, then Bubba. Then Sorry, I'm having Bolton. a right Tengu moment. Don't oh, worry. Hey. Hey. You want to check your law it's there, mate? Tengu. Tengu. Law. Tengu. <laughs> Carry on. All right. Um, okay. So you, uh, you so hunt which prey. cultists? There's a couple of them have been damaged, or is there only one that's been damaged? Uh, a couple of them have been damaged. There's, you actually have a hunt prey. St- does hunt prey? It doesn't have a duration, does it? Oh, he's still on one of the cultists, right? Yeah, you've still got Humphrey on one of the cultists, and that cultist has taken a little bit of damage from being slapped in the face. <laughs> Okie dokie. I guess I'll focus on him then. Okay. I'm going to let fly with an incendiary arrow. The Lim- Caralima lights up, which is... I got more Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, so that will be. Bear in mind, I've got a couple of minuses. Uh, oh yeah, okay, it's thirty-one to hit. Critical hit. Woohoo! Um, so now I do that damage for. Okay, I'm basically three D eight and know it. So eight points of mundane damage. Only one from the hunt prey. Fuck you. And then three plus one is four fire damage and one persistent fire damage. 
So a total, if you don't need the splitting up, of... 13. 13 points of damage, that's really good. And he's on fire. Sight him down, you shoot him with an incendiary arrow. They're left over from Pathfinder 1st Edition. We've just homebrewed some alchemist fires and stuck them on arrows. Uh, take away the splash damage, keep the persistent. That's where we're at with that one. Um, so you hit him with that. I think you've got two actions left. I have. I've got another incendiary arrow. Does the, the persistent fire damage stack? Uh, it doesn't, no. It just replaces the uh, existing fire mm, damage. Should I try and kill one or should I set, set more people on fire? Set more people on fire. I'll set more people on fire. Let me hunt down. I haven't got a hunt prayer on another one. It mm, doesn't really matter. I'll just focus on another one okay um it's a natural 20 critical hit grab yourself a card it's the green ones is the critical hit um grab yourself piercing leg wound five minus five foot status penalty to its land speed until healed okay Stabbed him in the leg. I thought it was a time vortex. <laughs> <laughs> what did this hoodie were a time vortex? Um, so, and, it's, uh, and double damage as well. And double damage. Yeah. Now then, if I'm hitting with the incendiary arrow, does all the damage get doubled? Uh, yes, everything gets doubled. Sweet. Um, two, no, plus 20 thing. That's seven plus one. So eight, ten, ten, twenty. Twenty, 20 plus one persistent fire damage. That's really nice. You, uh, you send a pair of burning arrows flying straight into them. Uh, you've got one action left. I have. Fuck. Um, I'm going to... I've got these Tanglefoot arrows. Oh, God. <laughs> but I mean, I'll just count them as normal arrows if you want, because they're basically useless. They're, they're not great. The Tanglefoot arrows are not great. So, yeah. I'm going to shoot those. Just going to focus on... I'm probably not going to hit, because it's a pull minus 10 to hit. It's another natural... Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Let it ride! Darren Lima! Just needed it this entire time! Oh my god! Sweet! And you hate Hawkeye so much! (laughs) (laughs) Organ scramble piercing, triple damage. (laughs) The target is fatigued. (laughs) Jesus, this isn't this isn't a normal this isn't this is just a normal arrow though, so this is not gonna be a lot of damage. Okay. Max, come on. Okay, six, so. 18. 18 points of damage and they're fatigued. Still, that's still <laughs> really good. And so two of them are on fire and one of them is also fatigued now. As <laughs> Cara Lima just wow. rips out a bow and just sends a volley of arrows just into the... <laughs> Even as a fat Lima is very effective. Wow. Um, so one of, them's, one of them's on fire, another one's on fire and with a five foot pe- move penalty, another one's not on fire but is fatigued. Uh, okay, cool. Yep. Do that. Do you want to? Be, so you want to move the uh, the critical hit onto one of the other guys, or do you want to? I, I was assuming you were going back to the hunted guy um, ah. with your because you said you were going to focus fire, but yeah, um, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do yeah? that. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Good round. Good round. Oh, man. Okay. This is. This is annoying. Okay. Um, so he is going to... Um, it's their go now. So they're going to move up. Let's do... Let's get some of this action going on. Is my hold action, is that specifically just for the... Can it be any enemy? Or is um, it? I, I think any enemy is fine. I'm happy Cue. with that. Um, Q. I mean, mud goes soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Just another man. All right, so it. Um, so one of them, uh, one of them steps up, triggering an immediate will save from uh, Shania, Philippe, and Bubba. Okay. <clears throat> this is one will, of the. Easy. Dude. This is one of the cultists, yep. Oh, because he's doing uh, his shield-banging thing. He's banging his shield, and you get a sense of dread as he approaches you. Okay. Is he on fire? He's on fire. <laughs> uh, oh, no, he's not on fire. He's one of the ones who's not on fire. Okay, fine. So. How are we feeling on that? 16. A 16 is a fail. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Shania got... 27 a 27 that's a pass 
it's, it's all or nothing, so it doesn't. Schneider is totally unaffected. What happens to young Bubba? Well, and let's see if it happens to Philippe as well. Philippe He's got 30. 30. Philippe's fine as well. It's Jeez. only Bubba. Bubba, you're at minus one to attack rolls um, while you stay in this while you stay in this area. The chanting's just filling your ears. It's throwing you off your game slightly. Okay. It's well, like the opposite of Inspire Courage. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Bane. Oh, I was more in the sound. More by Spark cards, that's not going to work. You're going to have minuses to all your attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I was born with the minuses. <laughs> you could try a spell, but it would be very painful. <laughs> Uh, and then this one's going to stab Shania a couple of times. Ah, yeah, you know, no drama. Standard. That was calm, isn't it? 20, yeah. 25. That'll, that'll probably get you, won't it? Uh, some, assuming. Yeah, it will. Have yourself 16 points of damage. Ow. Have yourself 16 <laughs> points of damage. And the second one's a 15. That ain't going to do nothing. The second no. one's a 15. <laughs> what was the first one? <laughs> 16. 16. 16. points of damage. Yeah. Uh, the second one you point second. Of yeah. damage. Okay. Sorry. Why is we... We've only taken this up since Christmas <laughs> has been over. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 All right. Next. Come on, one of them come to me, please. Jesus, I just want some blood. 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 Stream blood. Them yeah, that's what you said, wasn't it? Yeah. Blood. Blood. Ask, and you shall receive. Yeah. This one decides. This one's going to throw a. This one throws a spell to begin with. Now uh, go on. Um. So throws. Yeah, this one throws a spell at um, this one throws a spell at Fulton. Go on, mate. Come on, hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your pet shot. I mean, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just lining them up, aren't we? Yeah. These songs now. Ah, uh, oh, sorry, mate. It doesn't happen all the time. Three on the die. He fires a beam straight over your head. Uh, as he attempts his Beam. ray of enfeeblement, but he's brave. He he does not fear the he doesn't fear the Fulton. He so doesn't he's gonna fear come the Fulton. <laughs> Probably <laughs> foolishly, having failed to uh, having failed to make you afraid, he runs around the dinosaur and into melee with you, um, triggering an attack of opportunity from <laughs> Fulton, uh, an attack from Fulton. Uh- Oh, this isn't good. my. This is this my held action. This is your held action. So it's yeah. It wouldn't. Tri- it doesn't trigger an attack of off. It triggers just your held attack. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That is thirty-three critical hit. That is a thirty-three. That is a thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. <laughs> Jeez. So total of damage to him as he came up to me. Oh, please tell me he's dead. He comes running in. You slam your axe into him, and thank God, thank God, he had taken no damage up until this <laughs> point. So he is not killed by that. But wait, who had taken no damage up until this point? This dude, the every dude. one, every uh, all three of the cultists, and the there are four cultists. Oh, no. no. yes. Yeah, there was one. He's, is he the spear There's, banger? Uh, there is no, he's not the spear banger. Spear banger's spear banger is uh, ah, spear up in Shania's face. This is the one who this is the one that wasn't in your melee range right at the start who kind of moved around to flank you and has kind of been staying out of trouble. Um the My flanker, name is spear eh? banger. But not Keith. now. Spear banger. Flanker, spear banger, fireboy and slow. You, you got two fireboys. Now. <laughs> slow boy. No, two fire yeah, two fire boys of course, yeah. Ah, fireboy. You have to narrow that down. However, with his second hit, he rolls a natural 20. Oh. Uh, he is banger. not a named creature, so he does not get a... Spare banger. Uh, so he doesn't get a... Um, uh, doesn't get that. So he deals 30 points of damage to Fulton, however. Oof. Doesn't get a card. That becomes... Uh, you hit him with the uh, the axe. He immediately stabs you with the spear in the side. You both glare at each other. Oh! You fucker! 
Crunch! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's out there now, mate. Like, <laughs> well, you, I he kind said of, can't. I'm, I'm muffled it, so you know. You can't. 181 episodes. I'm not cutting any. <laughs> 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 Scott dropped it. one like 10 episodes ago. Yeah, I know. It, yeah, it was I just buried just in there. Yeah. We went yeah. straight over it. It was always going to happen. I always wanted it to be a massive bomb when it finally happened, but you know. I can't remember saying it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the way it is in life isn't it you look forward to something and then just pass this can't remember it's got, yeah. so you've got to get all the joy out as it happens as soon as it comes into your brain just gotta say it gotta say it because yeah. you save it you know yeah that's why that's why I haven't got any money yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel that <laughs> I've had a lovely time, yeah, apparently. Yeah. Um, people <laughs> yeah. have told me that. Oh, my God. Right, these hunker, hunker, burning cultists. Um, <laughs> nice. What are they going to do? Uh, this one is going to... Um, this one takes some damage from the fire, steps up here, and... Oh, shit. Um, I know. Um, steps up here next to Shania and is, oh yeah yeah um, and he's gonna try and stab Shania uh, it's a 16 come on guys come on what are you doing <laughs> talking to an app <laughs> come on come on come on app. remember Dyson Dragons that was just uh, remember that disaster um, should roll back old bad moon mate Get some of that luck back. Try. Shut up. Don't tell him about old Bad Moon. No, he's too too busy yeah, on Roll20. Mm. Oh, since the night we mm. took it out on the moors. Mm. Buried it. <laughs> Buried it deep. To the wife, look at my Roll20. I love, I love old Bad Moon. I just don't love math. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. I mean, it all does it for you. Which is... uh, so I need a whole lot of that. All right. Uh, this one runs up, swings at Shania. Um... You duck under the spear, uh, and as you you catch the uh, the, cult, the cultist eyes, the cultist says, "Fall!" Uh, give me a will save. Uh-oh. A will save, eh? Uh-oh. Eighteen. Uh-oh. An eighteen. It is a failure. The fir- for the for- first action of your next turn, you must drop prone. Oh, oh that's really why bad. is she always prone? You're compelled to fall I mean, sometimes prone. it's because I make her prone, but anyway. Sometimes. And then let's make the flat check to see if he stops burning. It keeps burning. Keeps, keeps, keeps burning. burning. <laughs> keeps burning. Okay. This guy. Uh, this guy <laughs> steps up. Um, and cannot do the thing he wanted to do. Um, so is going to I think Ray of Enfeeblement at Fulton Enfeeble me <laughs> Enfeeble you Enfeeble ah Enfeeble ah, ha, 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 ha. Enfeebly 21 it misses <laughs> Yeah Don't know where I was going with that song oh. It's quite a good day Thanks mate Yeah Thanks And in fact Come on, give me another one. Come on, mate. I dare you. I, I would love to dare you, but I've just realised I, I hold you to a high standard uh, on, uh, <laughs> on action economy, and I must do the same. He didn't. The one before didn't have enough actions to cast command. He had to move up in order to attack. Oh! Uh, after wasting that attack, so instead he just makes a he makes a pointless attack. Nineteen against armor class. Shania, the command doesn't affect you, and the third attack misses you. Ah. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I won by doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay for apathy. Everything's coming up Millhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we cast the, the last one cast heal on the Ovothium and touches uh, touches Irene, gives us some get points back. What? Oh. Uh, what's heal. when's it uh, what's this thing? Edie's go. Edie's go, Edie's go is coming up. Oh Ooh. thank goodness. All our our back we're pocket about to find out. Our back no, pocket. Our back pocket. Niamets go. Niamet. Um Niamet. Um Hair's wet. No, I bet it is wet because he's just walked through a wall of water. I really love 
you guys specialize in spells that just ruin people's day. Like, <laughs> yeah. they're, just, they're not necessarily yeah, yeah, yeah. effective, but yeah. like, even if they survive this fight, they'll just never want to tangle you again. <laughs> See, everyone comes away just tired, aching, wet, hungry. <laughs> Feast of Ashes. So you had a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get worse. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I fought at Danger Club once. I had a really bad day, actually. Yeah, I was yeah. slow. I've got a cracking headache. Yeah. And then I fell over and hurt my leg. I just felt really shit afterwards, to be honest. And then, yeah, and then they said some really cutting things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's nasty. I'm not fighting them again for that reason. No, no it's awful. Oh. Can't, can't go and treat people like that. It's quite funny, but yeah, yeah I had a bad day, really. Don't want to be the butt of the jokes, do you? No. 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 Oh, leave me alone, Danger Club, all right? I've had enough. Treat us, Danger Club. <laughs> 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 all right, so now I'm at cast a couple of spells the first thing he does is he sustains the um he sustains the spiritual weapon and the spear this time goes after velda funny you fucking piece of shit it's a 32 oh my god that is a crit i don't think it's a crit oh <laughs> that's so close to being a crit but no it is not a crit um yeah, it's a regular hit it is a regular hit okay then take Take one point of force damage. <laughs> <laughs> one on the die. You are rolling bad. I, I can do this all day. I never get a chance to say that. I really think you can. Um, okay, and then he's going to target Shania because Shania's up close. He brings his eye. I fixes Shania with a uh, with a, a, an unnerving gaze. Um, and just he says, "I'm going to swallow your eyeballs like a marble." <laughs> <laughs> no, <it's> sneakers. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have to pipe me on the back, make me cough it up. Mm. <laughs> choky, choky eyeball time. <laughs> Give me a will save. <laughs> oh, oh. natural one. Oh. Oh. I knew what I knew it when you were like nice no, sneakers. I was like, is that? Is that a bit of smack talk <laughs> going on there? Talk. <laughs> you know what happens when the smack it talk happens. Was Karma gets you, man. Yeah. Oh, you are stupefied for <sighs> one minute. Oh, stupefied's a pain in the dick. Oh, we've got two stupefied characters now, and both the casters stupefied. Um, stupefied, stupefied. Uh, you can add custom buff there. Oh, sorry, add condition. It's under your hit points. Track. Add condition. There yes. And then he moves up to join everyone else um, in the doorway. I'll, I'll automatically do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't remember what it was now. Stupefied. Stupefied Stupefied. One. Stupefied. Stupefied. Hey there, it's me, Basco Mops. I'm here to talk to you about a new product of mine. It's the Crop Mop. That's right, you can wipe your balls with these crop mops. And they're exclusive on the Manscaped uh, website. Uh, basically, you all have to do is mop the bop and uh, scrub the mop. Uh, so, why don't you head on down to Manscaped to have a look at the range of their products for all your needs of crop mopping. So, you get 20% off plus free shipping with the code DANGERCLUB at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code DANGERCLUB at at manscaped.com. Your balls will moop boop and your loopity boop with the crop mop pop beep it up up. That's right. And you give them the best tools of the job at Manscaped. So now we've got to act some players round. And it's Bubba Von Hoops. Yes, it is Bubba Von Hoops. Um how far would I have to move to get out of this feeling um, that I've got? You reckon uh, five feet will take you out of it. So if I to move back five feet? Yeah, so you can move back past... Uh, you, yeah, you can move back... Uh, move back. Move back behind Edie if move you want. Back. Or, yeah. Move back. Do I still get line of sight as well? Yep. Excellent. So in that case, I'll do that. And I will go... I'm going to go Magic Missile again. Go Magic Missile. Very yeah, nice. It's, it's, uh, it's good, isn't it? And I've already rolled the damage. Uh, who have I got in line of sight? Just remind me. You can, uh, if you're going to move, you could aim at anyone. You could get line of sight on anyone. It would just depend on exactly where you end up. Um, you're still going to be behind, sort of behind, in the second line of combat. Let's go now. to, um, let's to a hit before. Uh, what's her face? Irene. Irene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Irene 19 again. points of damage in Irene's face. Very nice. Come right. on, Irene. 
I know he said that a lot, but... <laughs> run around uh, behind the lead. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, <laughs> Avenger style, after the, uh, just as Karolima drops to the ground, having shot this volley of arrows as they're running forward, you just appear behind and unleash a volley of missiles that come raining down on Irene, who looks furious about this. Fulton, it's your go. Uh, is there anyone close? You've I guess the, there's the Irene. Uh, you have got... But then there's also a cultist, right? You've got a cultist directly in front of you and then Irene behind the cult. Because Irene used... Irene's got a spear and used that to attack you. So you've got a cultist to get through before you can get to Irene. Okie dokie. Something I'll, tells me this won't take long. Yeah, I'll power attack. I'll uh, furious focus him to death. Okay, give me an attack roll. Good. That's a 32. Oh my gosh, critical hit. Yeah. That's a critical hit. Here we go. That is 40 points of damage, but I did need to add one more damage dice. 40 points of damage, plus let's say it's two, because I said the lower one. Uh, so 42 points of damage. 42 here. points of damage is exactly double his current hit points. <laughs> <laughs> And again, oh a mist of further. Uh, <laughs> he steps up. Ah, oh, if only he'd hit that ray of enfeeblement, it would have had <laughs> almost no bearing whatsoever on his eventual fate. <laughs> yeah. As he steps into battle with the murder machine known as Fulton Battlestone, and you just Aha! bring him down. Was that one uh, Flamey Boy One, Flamey Boy Two, Slow Boy, or um, Dazed Guy? Um, in uh, in true in true Fulton style, it was the one that had up until the start of his previous go had taken no damage. Um, he was the one who was not affected by anything. Ran in and in two hits is dead. <laughs> uh, chop, no. chop. Yeah, I'll hold my last go to see if anyone comes up again. Okay, no problem. Um, and wait. Okay, and... So, closest to me is the next... Uh, next one. So, in front of you now, you've got a dead body, and after that, you've got kind of... You've got dead body. Next to the dead body, you've got Shania, and then beyond Shania is kind of everyone. Okay. Um, as they're all piling into this... Um, trying I'll just to wait break here. through the gap. Uh, okay, you hold the line. You stay where you are. Edie! Get them! Get them now! Get them now! Quickly! Um, Who's she she's talking to us to? or them? Uh, no, she's talking to you and she's pointing at them. Ah. Ah. She's your friend. Mm. Is she? Although she's Can we trust this hobbit over here? trust a hobbit? Always. Do you trust a hobbit? Uh, <laughs> Nyamet calls that Oh, Edie You had to go and do something like this, did you? I'm going to slurp you down like a regularly worm When you're done with this Oh, no Shania Yeah? It's your go you Stand in a oh, doorway right. oh, You're Christ. surrounded uh, by friends Right Ka Karolima hopefully gestures backwards <laughs> uh, Yeah, I mean Get behind know. us I'm going to get behind Fulton, for starters. Okay, you move behind Fulton. Um, Irene is going to take an attack of opportunity as you move away. Oh, for God's sake. Don't worry, you'll be fine. My attack of opportunity now is better than five in the future. That's, that's actually very sensible. Mm. Mm. Oh, me, I just suddenly forgot the recording. <laughs> you really did, yeah. <laughs> I really did. James just like, so sat about, sat over a yawn like, and a stretch. Oh, God. Started itching his belly and everything, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, God, took off his trousers. Oh, was it lasagna oh, for tea, is it? Oh, yeah, lasagna. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, my it's time. It's a 25 to hit. Yeah, that uh, hits you. Yeah. 24 points of damage. Ow. Bitten on the shoulder, but you do manage to, but you run away. Uh, you break away from him. Uh, oh, and you get behind everyone else. Uh, right next to me, At right? which point, I'm going to cast Fine. Murderous Fine on Neomet. Mm. How far's the range on it? It's like 120 feet. Nice. Mm. That sounds that sounds scary. What what is it called? Murderous pine. Yeah, murderous vine. Murderous vine. Um, I'm just going to take my damage points. How many were there? Uh, 24. 24. Jesus, God, matey. Hold the vine. Jesus, God, that's da, right. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay. Um, Get him with murderous vine. So. <laughs> 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 
Here we go. Murder us fine. Oh, yeah. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, oh no, it's 60 feet range, not 120. That's fine. So. You have anyway, me in range. Um, uh, so, I summon a slithering thorny vine that attempts to constrict or crush a foe. Um, make a spell attack roll against your target's fortitude DC. Okay, make a spell attack roll. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not as powerful as it usually would be because we're fucking stupid uh, first of all because you're casting a spell yeah. DC 6 flat check yeah. otherwise the spell oh. fails D20 6 or higher okay so look at a 6 oh wait hold on on a, a what D6. on a D20 D20 yeah. <laughs> that was silly <gasps> oh no, no. no. It's a five. It's a Son five. of a monkey! Stupefy. You go to cast the spell and you just can't remember it. You just can't. You see his face just flying around in your vision. Oh, I'm going to swallow you right And you just... L- you lose the spell. You spend the actions. You spend the spell. and it. Uh, but the words just don't come out right. Doesn't work. And it fails in your Shit. hand. Oh, no. Um... That, I think, is your turn. That's two actions. What about Philippe? Philippe has an action if you want to do something. Yeah. Um, um, uh, can, I, can I move Philippe up next? Like, like, so, like, where, I can't, where Okay, is he, so like? you were the front line. You've moved yeah. away. The front line is now Fulton and nobody else. And then the line behind that is Philippe. And then behind that is, um, is Edie, Caragor, and Velda. Behind that is Bubba and you. I put Philippe next to Fulton. Yeah. Philippe next to Fulton. You now have a bottleneck on the door. Yeah! Yeah! Um, Very good. Um, Philippe steps up. I look at Philippe. Tasty. Nod at him. <laughs> Let's do this. Philippe does your secret handshake that the two of you have had. <laughs> Did they come up with that? Yeah. Little fist bump, slap, slap, back thing, ruffles your hair. <laughs> Looks at his head. He's covered in hair gel. <laughs> Um, all right. That's not hair gel. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, uh, it's the jelly from inside. Pork pie is probably a bit no Fulton. <laughs> Pork fat. Ugh. Something about oh. Mary. <laughs> oh, all right. It's Irene's go. Irene is feeling mean. Um, come up. Come on. Come up close. Come on. Boop. Come on, come on, son. Come on. Irene roars at Fulton. Attempts to intimidate Fulton. Uh, it's a 33 on the intimidate against your will DC. Will save plus 10. Beb. Uh, no, it's your will save. Oh. Your will save, your will bonus plus 10. So my will bonus is plus 13. Plus 13, so... Uh, so 23 so there's a critical success god damn so you are frightened too uh, minus 2 to your AC what he was hoping for because now he's going to try and land a crit on you with the spear staying out of your axe range it st- Irene stabs you with the spear come on 34 uh, that is a crit. Critical hit, 22 points of damage. Yeah. Um, I think does some extra as well. Let me see. Wicked trophies. Oh, it's an extra D10, um, mm. which will also be doubled. Let's roll that. So, on top of that, have another 14 points of damage. Um, as you look at the hands and you see one of the hands around Irene's neck is the hand of a dwarf. And it, uh, it fills you with more, <laughs> fills you with demonic fear. Oh. Wicked trophies, um, and then a second attack. Nah, I'm going to keep the attacks going on Fulton. Second attack. Uh, it's a natural twenty. Oh, oh my god. Da, 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 da. Um, and. Uh, Am I right? I had 90 hit points at the start of this time. Yeah, but lately bought my back velder. Come on! <laughs> and thanks to uh, thanks to our wonderful patron, Chris, um, Irene Largefeet is a named NPC, so uh, let's grab ourselves a critical card. It's a piercing weapon. Deep wound. Ooh. The target is sickened three. Oh, I mean, that doesn't really hell. matter. He's dead. So. Well, he's unconscious. Who fault him? Yeah. What? I've only got 30 hit points, and he did 
60 in the last one, I think. You take 32 hit points of damage yeah. and are sick and three. All right. But does it matter even if I'm unconscious? Uh, well, the effect will still be on there when you oh, wake up. Oh, good. Thanks, so mate. it's good to know. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, give me that. Oh, my God. Second it's... what? Second three. Oh, Jesus. Um, second is a real nasty condition as well. So Good thing I'm dead. It steps up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. can't, puke, can't puke when you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Joke's on you! <laughs> um, so it looks at Fulton, roars at you. You hesitate for a minute, a look of fear in your eyes, and as you hesitate, it just stabs you twice in the chest, <gasps> and Fulton drops to his knees and collapses next to Philippe. Fulton is down. Oh, man. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. That. Oh. Um, so much for the bottleneck. <laughs> <laughs> Literally got a whole pan hinged around. <laughs> okay, uh, it is Velda's go. Okay. Do there... What? Do you have... Uh, do I have line of sight to him, yeah. Irene? You do. Without anyone in the way. Now that Fulton's flopped to the floor, are there any cultists behind him? Uh, let's have a look. Um, there. So you could move in a way that, because you only need two actions to cast this, don't you? Yes. Um, so you well, I'd be, I could, I'd be maintaining my flaming sphere as well. So. Ah, so if you want to do, if you want to do that. Philippe is now standing in the way. Sure. So. I'm going to try something else. Okay. I'm going to try something else. All right. Uh, just for the moment. I've got that in the back. So I want to move my flaming sphere onto the guy I've been... The guy I've been toasting dead. Uh, the guy you've been toasting, no. He's, he's been toasted a bit by... Um, he's been toasted a bit by Caragor, but he's he's still alive. Okay. I'd like to move the flaming sphere onto them. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, what's the damage? Uh, Eleven if he fails. Eleven if he fails. Okay. Well, he. Well, he better not fail then, hadn't he? This is going to be the episode where I lose my directional mic privileges. I can tell because I'm having to keep having to look at the screen, keep moving away from it. I, I apologise in advance, listeners. Thirteen, he fails. He fails. So he takes eleven points of burning damage. Eleven points of burning damage. He's having a real burning day. Okay. And now I would like to try and cast paralyze on Irene. Para, 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 para. So it is a will save. Okay, so this is nice. This is a re- this is a do over from last time. So um, you tried to pa- you tried to paralyze Gaganiz, and it didn't work. Oh yeah, it didn't work. No, come on, Gaganiz. come on. Is it going to work on come Gaganiz's on. sister? What do we think the relation is between Irene and Gaganiz? Um, Frosty Second cousins Yeah Cousins <laughs> Twice removed They got yeah. So he summoned He summoned Gaganiz And he's like Ah oh, oh it looks like I need another demon He's like I've got a cousin Who'd be great for this <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, She can't get oh, it he was, he was Mario he's, I'm Nepotism co- Let's get my cousin in <laughs> Pure nepotism <laughs> My cousin man. Irene Oh my goodness Is it a It's a will save right It is a will save Will you save Here we go Oh. 34 on the will save oh my god fuck save these save or suck spells man they're not you use them on bosses and you're you're at high risk of nothing going down that's going to be a critical success unaffected by the paralyze yeah. shrugs off the power of the magic and that's it that's that's it for Iri- that's it for Velda yeah. okay is it my go yet? Come on, Velda. Let's have a look. It is. It's nearly your go. Shit. But first, it's Irene's go. Okay. Uh, oh, no, it's not. Irene had a go. Yeah. 
Yeah, Irene stabbed up. Uh, Irene stabbed up. Um, oh, it's I know. Oh, it just it remind me. Yeah, kill, kill me. So. It's because I redid the initiative order for uh, for that. <laughs> it is Caragor's go. Caralima's go. <laughs> so I reckon between either healing Fulton or summoning a monster, you can replenish that front line, right? Yeah, should be. Awesome. Car- Caralima's got a plan. Yeah. I've got an infiltrator's elixir, and Lemurs, if I'm correct, have a climb speed. Uh, I think, yeah, Lima's probably are pretty good at climbing. <laughs> how far, how high up is the roof? How high up is the roof? Um, if you climb up onto the, you can climb up onto the dome. Um, like, it's, it's kind of, at its highest point, it's probably about 50 feet up. Great. I'm still hasted. I'm going to... This is outrageous. Karalima <laughs> is going to so go in the pack, go in a pack, crack open the infiltrator's elixir, glug it. Now, where my position is in the bottleneck means that I'm not necessarily in sight for, of the line of sight for the bad guys. Okay. I'm still going to have to roll a stealth check. Okay. Um, I think Infiltrator Elixir gives me like a plus two to a... To, oh no, is it deception or stealth? Um, I believe it's, it's... Isn't it disguises Infiltrator uh, Elixir? Okay, fine. Maybe I'm... Okay. Maybe I'm going to just... Yeah, either way, I'm still climbing on the wall. Okay. So climb on the wall out of sight yep. of the um, bad guys. Climb round the wall thing above their <laughs> eye line because we're all focusing on the battle. Okay. Continue to climb up on that side and go on the roof to, you know, just about where Nyamet might be beneath, uh, beneath me. Okay. Uh, I don't think it does what you think it does. Go on. Um, it changes your appearance. Cool. Reg- so, so regardless of yeah. the elixir. Useless elixir. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite useful. It, it, it's favoured by spies and tricksters, and it's a plus four status bonus to your deception DC, mm-hmm. and you can make yourself look like a person. But you completely change yourself. Look like a cultist. Yeah, you can make yourself look like Caragor again. <laughs> <laughs> With the might of <laughs> just only you, the Caragor. Going, <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Okay, uh, the main component of this plan was the climb speed given to me by Lehman, not necessarily the infiltration. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm happy with there being some climb. I'm happy there being some climb abilities for uh, for a Lima. Um, primates. Your yeah, it makes sense. Um, the, the trouble is that Nyma is inside the dome, is inside the building. So if you climb on the roof of the building, no, I mean from the inside. I you want to climb on the? On the I, I know they're good climbers, but we're talk, you're talking about climbing on the ceiling. Yeah, this is what okay. a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> climbing on the ceiling. Okay. Just get some failing that, on failing that. Depending on how close he is to a wall, I would yeah. just climb up a wall, um, and then maybe bounce off, spring okay. off from there. If that's more reasonable, if you won't let me climb on the ceiling. Get some pittons out. It's an old place. Got lots of, you know. I've yeah. been, I've been bouldering. Yeah, pretty I've been old. Upside down climbing a little bit, not very long. But then again, I'm not a lemur, am I? So and lemurs <laughs> can do that all the time. Okay, I will. I will accept with a not uh, fully armored. Hey, <laughs> not fully armored. Not fully armored. Yeah. Wearing medium armor. Oh, uh, true. Nice try. Four <laughs> a- <laughs> with four actions, I'll accept. Um, you better climb up the wall to get around the combat, so not go through everything. Um, you don't really climb on the ceiling, but there is a pillar right next to Nyamet, which is within jumping distance, which you could definitely hold on to, which would put you above Nyamet holding onto a pillar. Perfect. How does that sound? That sounds entirely reasonable. Okay. Well bargained and done. Give me an uh, give me an athletics check to try and climb. Come on! I'm going to lower the DC I'm to reflect to see the what this plan is going to be. Oh, okay, okay. It's an 18 well, I, d- I don't think that's it's a standard. It's an 18 so. total. Uh, with your bonus for being a lemur, that is still sufficient. You clamber Yay. up. Uh, you clamber up the wall on some vines, and then you clamber around the side. And now I need an acrobatics check to try and launch yourself onto... <laughs> nice. That's a 29. A 29. You are on... <laughs> You're on the pillar. Caragor, Caragor the Limo just runs to the front line, scampers up the wall, <laughs> scampers into the domed room, and then leaps over everyone's head and is now hanging onto a uh, is now hanging onto a pillar above them all. Um, Got a cutlass in between its teeth. Oh my god! So that's that's my entire go. That's isn't it? that's going to take that's your fair. whole go. I think okay. that's fair for that. Uh, there is. 
a lemur with a cutlass in its teeth sta- uh, hanging on to a pillar over everyone so how how high above Niamh roughly am I um, I think you're about 20 feet above him that's an extra 20 feet of falling damage uh, those save and suck spells aren't necessarily doing it let's see him save against the falling lemur with a blade in its mouth this Next is turn. incredible <laughs> this nice. is yeah, wonderful man. and have yourself a hero point for two cool that, that's fucking nice. brilliant yeah. <laughs> oh my god it's it's uh, we're coming too close to the end of the episode but it, uh, it must be because it's their turn again um, it always is their turn uh, uh, I know these guys who right who earns what a bunch <laughs> what's he saying who earns I was saying who earns what a bunch who of who earns uh, the one in the middle casts uh, the one in the middle casts heal uh, and heals four hit points to everyone around him oh including what? me thanks fucking uh, lame oh gonna heal my friends Here's four hit points back. Oh, oh. Hit points. oh yeah. <laughs> heal, friend. Luckily, we don't need healing. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> is the uh, who, who needs the healing. That guy. I mean, that guy. That guy. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. This is that's the it's most danger club thing of being like, oh, heal, do you? Fucking, <laughs> fucking pussies. <laughs> the healing. Uh, that's all he can do because he's just he uses three actions to heal. Um, his buddy is dead, so does nothing. Um, his buddy, st- his buddy steps up um, and uh, takes some fire damage. First of all, because he's on fire. Yay! None of them put it out yet. None of them thought to. No. That's funny, isn't it? No, it's only doing one point of damage a turn. They can. They can it's only a bit of fire. They can bit. handle a bit of fire. A little bit of fire, at least. A little bit of fire by my side A little bit of flames in my life A little bit of burning on my knees A little bit of Jessica on my trees A little bit of Carragher on the roof A little bit of Daniel Wait, I, I, I'm with the rest of the part. I, I'm not comfortable being with the, re- the Danger Club characters That's not a safe environment for anyone No Jessica was there. She didn't mind. Yeah, but Jessica... Yeah, that's classic Jessica, though, isn't it? It's very true. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Jess. He's going to try and stab Philippe twice. Oh, God, he hasn't uh, even got involved in the fight yet, and already he's getting stabbed. This is the price idea. you pay for the bottleneck, guys. Can everyone stop the, getting the stabbed? The bottleneck was costly. Step, step, step. Yeah, step, everyone was so step. happy about the bottleneck, but of course, what we failed to realise is that you've got to be a, a successful cork. First attack is a 22. Um, sorry, this is against Philly, against his armor class. Against his armor class, which is twenty-two. Twenty-two at meets beats. That's fourteen points of damage. Philippe gets stabbed. Ow. Second attack, natural one. It's a fumble. It's a fumble. He fumbles. Um, the fumble. Bring yeah, it up. He's already gone. Oh, it. I've yeah. got it. Oh, he's got it. Decapitate. Decapitate. We always hope that it's, it's the melee attack. Uh, you deal the attack's normal damage to yourself instead of the target. <laughs> yeah. He stabs Philippe, spins the spear around, stabs himself. How does he stab himself with a with spear? With a ten-foot spear. Yeah. Yeah, like. He tries to do that cool thing we've all done when we've had a stick. Just tries to like do the spinning Plats around, himself just in the head. himself in the face with it. <laughs> oh. With the pointy end. It's like something on a lad Bible tweet. Yeah. 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 Takes. Was that, 11 um, points of damage was that Flamey Finnegan or Shield Bash Sean that <laughs> was Flamey Finnegan was it don't give them names <laughs> otherwise they get the thing I'm trying, to, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to distinguish them in my head that's a that's a very nice point oh shit what I uh, deleted them <laughs> missed something the did you oh. Oh. That, I'll, st- I'll, I'll, I'll stick to it um, anyone who was affected by Bane um, which was only Bubba um, would have been everyone else in a minute stops being affected by it because he used three actions to cast heal he did sustain Bane Bane drops um, sustain Bane Bane, Bane, Bane drops Not disappointingly sustain. just like the end of his I'm movie I'm going now <laughs> I was born to be disappointed <laughs> goodbye <laughs> and uh, this guy this takes, fucking guy. This guy takes a bit this more, guy. a bit more damage. Steps up and uh, tries to attack Philippe as well. It's gonna be that. It's gonna be that. Um, 
That's a 21, which will be a miss, and a 26, which will be a hit. So take another 14 points of damage um, as the other guy steps up and stabs. This is Philippe, not Philippe. Philippe, Philippe. yeah. Right. They just move up and they just stab, 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 plunging their spears into poor Philippe. Poor little monkey guy. What's he on? He's on 37. He's right. <laughs> isn't, isn't Irene next? No, uh, no. Good. Naya met. Ah, oh, good. Your your monkey's dead. The your monkey's actual dead. boss. Yeah. Not the even only got one to that's the there yet. is the monkey. Oh dear. Naya met. Mm. Come on, Naya met. Mm. First things first. Naya met. Naya met sustains. Naya met sustains his spell. Oh, wait. No, he doesn't. Naomet's not going to... Naomet lets the spell drop. Um, what was the spell? Spiritual uh, that was spiritual weapon. So the oh. spear that's been accosting you, Velda, just uh, disappears, melts away as he stops ah, focusing yes. on it. Fuck you. He then Ghost moves. Spear. <clears throat> he then pushes his way. He parts his way through his followers to the front line. Um, steps through everyone and steps out of the doorway. Um, hands aloft. Um, to everybody and steps out into the morning sun facing you all down stops as he gets there turns round and looks at Fulton lying on the floor and goes licks his lips and says mmm yummy uh, summons up some magical energy in his hand and begins casting death knell oh no and that is where we leave yeah. it for tonight oh, Yes. <sighs> That's what Edie said about them all being masters of death magic. It's real fucking dangerous to drop around. This week's episode was made possible by our patron and our dangerling of the week. This week, it's Stu Jackson. Not Peter Jackson. Not... Uh, uh, Michael, Michael. Wait. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Tito. Percy not, Jackson. Yeah, Percy. Not Percy. Janet not, Jackson. Not Jackson from Jackson Johnny Pollock. Cash's song, Jackson. Nice. Uh, it is Stu what Jackson. Was and what's the other guy? The guy that does all the... Choose your own adventure. No. Oh, Steve that's Jackson. Ian Livingstone. <laughs> <laughs> Do the bit to get your name. Yeah, to get your name on this week's show uh, or next week's show or whatever show you want to get your name on, head on down to Danger Club, uh, the patron <laughs> for Danger Club, <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Peace out.